Hey guys, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd take you along today as I sew a tank dress. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I just started playing around with dyeing my own fabric. So I used this right dye, dye more synthetic fabric dye and basically got some pink fabric and dyed it more of a two-tone tie-dye effect. This is my first time playing around with dyeing fabric and I really love how it turned out. As you can see, I've kind of gone for a two-tone design where I've got a darker pink, a lighter pink, which was the original fabric color, and then bits of white throughout and I really like the effect that it has. So I've decided I'm going to make a tank dress out of this fabric. I made this one not too long ago and I really like how this turned out. It is a self-drafted pattern. But I've decided I'm going to make it today with this tie-dye fabric but make it a bit more loose fitting so it feels a bit more comfy to wear in my everyday. So let's get straight into making the dress. So I have my pieces already cut out and I really like how they are looking. So because this is such a simple tank dress all we have to do is basically just sew the shoulder seams and the side seams together of the front and back dress. So I started by placing the front and back dress together with right sides facing and pinning the shoulders and side seams. I sewed the seams on an overlocker because I'm using stretchy fabric, but you can use a zigzag stitch on a standard sewing machine. So this is what the dress is looking like now that I've sewn both side seams together and the shoulder seams. So I've purposely made it a bit of a looser fit so it's going to look a bit oversized when I put it against my body. But I just wanted to make a dress that would be very easy to wear and obviously this fabric that I've used is a jersey fabric so it is stretch so it's going to be a really nice comfy dress hopefully when I finish with it. So as you can see I've used an overlocker to join the seams together because it is a stretch fabric but now that we've joined the sides seams together what we're going to want to do is join the neckband piece. So when you're working with stretchy fabric you're going to want to use bias binding to finish the armholes and neckline edges and what that basically is is a long rectangle of fabric and you basically just want to have right sides together and sew along the edge and I'll just make one loop and then once you do that you basically fold it over but I'll show you in a bit more detail down on the table. But I'm going to do that for both the armhole pieces and the neckband piece and then attach that to the dress. So this is what the armholes and the neckband pieces look like now that I've placed them right sides together and I've aligned the short seam and we're just going to sew this on the overlocker. I then folded the neckband in half with wrong sides together and pressed all the way round. So this is what the bias binding is look like now that I've pressed it in half at the ironing board and now it is ready to attach to the tank dress. What I like to do as well is just snip at the half points of the band and that will just help us when we're actually aligning it to the tank dress. But I'm going to go ahead now and start with attaching the neck band. I align the neck band with the four main notches of the dress which are the centre front the centre back and both shoulder seams. I then stretched the neckline of the dress to fit the neckband and pinned roughly in place.
Using the same method, I then attach the arm binding to the armholes. So this is what the neckline bias binding is looking like right now. It is a bit thick, but I think for this version, I'm just gonna keep it as it is. And then I've also gone ahead and pinned both armholes bias binding, which I'm gonna sew at the overlocker now. But I think the next time I make this dress, I'm going to make the bias binding a bit narrow because I think it's a tiny bit thick on this version. But let's see how this turns out. So this is what the dress is looking like now that I've attached the binding to both armholes and it's looking really good. I still think this is probably way too thick um, for what I would usually wear but I think this is a great version of how I imagine this dress to look like. I really like the colour variety across the garment because it's been tie-dyed and now that that's actually all done all we have to do now is basically just sew the hem of the dress. One thing I didn't realise actually is how thin the fabric is so it looks kind of fine here but this is a lightweight jersey and it is actually very lightweight so I would think I'd have to wear a bra if I wear this out but the way that it's looking at the moment I think this is definitely more of a nighttime dress. Because this fabric is stretchy, I just folded the fabric up once towards the wrong side and then pinned it in place for the hem. So I've just finished sewing the dress and I think it turned out pretty good. This fabric is definitely much more lightweight than I thought it would be. I just tried it on and it is very see-through. I think this is going to be more of a nighttime dress because unless I'm wearing a bra, I think that it will just be way too see-through. But this is what it looks like if I just bring it all the way. Let's see what this looks like on. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this tank dress. Let me know in the comment section if you like how it turned out or any adjustments that you would make. I think definitely when I make this again, I need to make the bias binding a lot thinner. It's way thicker than I imagined it to be. And I think I ended up making a chic nightwear dress rather than a glamorous daytime dress. But either way, I think it turned out to be a success. I think next time I'd probably do two colours in one fabric and use a cotton or a linen because I think it would be a lot easier to work with. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing what I created. I'll see you in the next one.